Hey what's up guys, Kiesa here and for today's video we'll be going through a fun deck for our PvE 9 and we won't be using like tier 4 units to clear the map but we'll be using a building instead to clear the map and it's not the usual world breaker gun building or any other regular buildings but it's a building called Outer of Chaos and yeah let's see how I clear the map using that building Alright, let's get to the video. And yes, I will start off uh, as a usual by summoning Wind Weavers to all uh, the usual units to clear the map until I get my tier 4. So I will be just summoning all the Wind Weavers before I continue on to clear the base. Right, this the this how you replay um our PV maps and I'm most comfortable with nature as my first op. Right, so I'll be speeding the replay a little bit to show you my game later on. Yeah, I made a mistake because the tier 3 got lured to my tier 2. So I have no choice but to abandon my the, the wells that I built. Right, trying to get my tier 3 up to destroy the bandit camp prevent more enemy units from spawning right gonna get my third up soon I'll be using the Torn Buck method to clear the base. I really like Torn Buck because it's really strong if you have quite a few of them. You can easily clear off multiple bases at once. And even oncoming units as well. Alright, don't want to care all these units. I didn't expect to have so many enemy units. Yeah, but I didn't know, I guess some of them was from the other base, that's why there was a lot of units. But with this amount of stone bark, I should be able to clear all the enemy very, very quickly. Alright, so once you get your tier 4, you should build a couple of Altar of Chaos. You'll be using this building to clear off the base is very very fast and clear off the the base beside your fourth op if not the enemy units will be attracted to your camp right now I have two shadow and two nature ops I'll be using this area to build all my altar of chaos it's very very strong using the mass destruction ability and it has the good thing about Auto of Chaos is that it has no like range, no no limits to where you place this. The only downside is that you have to have a ground unit in order to place the nether bomb. 
So I have the Cultis Master to sacrifice the Nightcrawlers to increase the damage. As you can see, the self abandonment can have additional 500% to be dealt as damage, which is pretty insane. Take a look at how it works now. Look at it getting destroyed, destroying the, the base. It's a very strong bomb. Yeah, let's see for the next base. It's the frenetic assault so that I can get my green vine moving to place the bomb. Yeah, the problem with this is that you can't place the bomb where there's enemy units. Yeah, the nether bomb just destroyed the entire base, but of course you have to have three cultist masters worth of corpse to be able to deal that crazy amount of damage. Of course, because of the uh, constant wave of enemy units, I have my root units at the bottom to defend my fourth orb. And let's take a look at the altar of chaos. Let the magic work. That is pretty strong damage. Oh. One thing that I forgot is that the nether bomb can kill your own friendly units. So when after placing a bomb you should get away as quick as possible so that your green vine or whatever units won't get killed by the bomb. It's alright if your green vine dies because just spawn another unit to to go over and spawn the nether bomb. I like this spore launcher due to its really high health. It's very tanky and won't die very easily. Look at the bomb explode now. Half of the base just got annihilated. Right, I'm gonna place the second bomb to finish off the base. But we want to kill off the enemy units as well. So I'll place two bombs. Oh, I think that bomb didn't have the, the corpse needed to kill the bandit torso gun. Right, so I'm gonna have to keep sacrificing my units and I'll place more bombs. And bye bye. Alright, going to the next base, the green piece to make sure enemy units don't attack my spore launcher. Yeah, just keep placing your nether bomb all around to destroy the base. Oh, my spawn is gonna die because it's within range of the nether bomb. No worries, gonna have to spawn more units as seen. As you can see, I have a lot of Outer of Chaos so that I can keep spawning the bombs. All these remnants I will slowly clear up later on in the, in the match. Right. Let's see the magic work. It's a nice kill. Gonna summon more bombs. Alright, the friend take a sword. Stop my green vine from getting killed. Okay. That's a nice boom there. Green vine died again. At least I finished off the bandit tortu gun. Let's take a look. I have my spore launcher now. Move down to destroy the base because in the base at the top here, the tent does is a fake tent. It does you won't spawn any units. So go on and destroy these two bases. All right. And the problem here is the command walker. The boss is quite a bit of problem. It's very hard to kill off the boss. Oops, uh, friendly fire there, the nether bomb killed my spore launcher. Let's bring down my units. 
I have to slowly spawn a lot of the nether bombs to kill off the command walker. Have to get a lot of cops now. As you can see, I have a lot of Kauti's master. Right, time to summon more bombs. Right, more bombs. Command Walker is down. Last base here. And let's just admire the beauty of the Nether Bomb destroying the final base. Whoa, it's about uh, one third of the base gone, another third. And oops, didn't have enough damage for. For it, gonna send my turn back to finish it once and for all. Alright, this is should be good enough. And you have won the game by just using Auto of Chaos. And this concludes my fun deck run. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.